Thanks for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Brian Collar and Alice has the night off. Vermont's senior U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy will not seek a ninth term in Washington, D.C. next year. That means the state will lose a powerful advocate, but it also opens a seat in Vermont's congressional delegation for the first time in 16 years. NBC5 Stuart Ledbetter was in Montpelier this morning for the announcement. He joins us now with more on this big story. Stu. Well, Brian, a historic day in Vermont politics, uh, to be sure. It's easy to forget that Pat Leahy was 33 years old when he first ran for the U.S. Senate. He is the last of the Watergate era class still serving there. A three-time committee chairman, third in line to the presidency. Leahy quoted John Kennedy today when he said it was time to pass the torch. Slowly, Patrick Joseph Leahy made his way to the podium at the Vermont State House, Vermont's longest serving U.S. Senator telling a packed house the time has come. I will not run for re-election, but I want to announce that here at home, just a few yards from where I grew up in Montpelier, representing you in Washington has been the greatest honor. I'm humbled and always will be by your support. The eight-term Democrat, a former Chittenden County prosecutor, You've honored me with six more years. Leahy almost surely would have cruised to re-election next year. For Vermont, he's also chairman of the powerful Senate Appropriations Committee, able to deliver billions to his home state by ensuring small state minimums in areas like infrastructure and pandemic relief. Mr. Secretary, welcome. And Leahy brought cabinet secretaries here to see our problems up close. So... Why leave now? I think he just realized that he's done as much as he needs to do uh, or can do at, at this point and that it's just the proper time for him to step aside. Political consultant Luke Alby was Leahy's longtime chief of staff. He's seen a bunch of senators who stay just too long. They stay one term too long. Still, Alby thought Leahy's decision might have gone either way asked about the senator's advancing years. There's nothing that I've seen or heard that leads me to think that, you know, health was a determining factor. Inside the Capitol, in his hometown, Leahy recounted highlights of his nearly 50 years in Washington, thanking supporters and staff, but said, Marcel <clears throat> and I have reached the conclusion that it's time to put down the gavel. It is time to pass the torch to the next Vermonter who will carry on this work for our great state. It's time to come home. Luke Alby noted Washington is an increasingly nasty place to work, uh, but said this was likely still a tough decision given all that would be lost in terms of Vermont's political clout in Washington. It's also one which will mean a rare vacancy in the state's congressional delegation. Brian. Stu, thanks. Reaction.